All right, guys, so the 300 million download celebration is here, and there is just an insane amount of stuff. Uh, one thing that is a bit disappointing is there is no Easy A in part one. So my dream of the Goku and Gohan and then Vegeta and Trunks units getting Easy A's, I mean, I, I would imagine they will in part two. I, I doubt they're going to leave them the way they are, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So this here is the global side of the info. Uh, I've also, you know, we can go ahead and pop in. Uh, and then check what it looks like um, in game as well over here on JP, right? So we'll we'll, we'll kind of go back and forth. Uh, all of the celebration info is the same. There's like one or two very minor differences. Like I think Global has like the previous Cell Saga event listed in here because they did not get it before, you know, stuff like that. But nothing really too crazy. There's also like these new events. Um, so this uh, like Room of Spirit and Time, Hyperbolic Time Chamber, whatever you want to call it. This event is, like, finally we're able to use the limited keys. They've been in the data since keys first came out. Now we can actually use it. The only way to challenge this event is to use 10 limited keys. I believe we can get 20, a total of 20, uh, throughout the celebration. So let's kind of go through everything and take a look here. Um, okay. So, oh, oh yeah, well, let's read this. Uh, new events will be available one after another. Yep, that's true. Uh, collect tons of dragon stones. Yeah, there's an insane amount of stones, bro. And then the anticipated dual Dokkan festival. Now... Here's the thing, right? As of right now, a lot of people... Here, I'll, we'll just skip down and take a look at it. A lot of people are a little bit disappointed right now. Um, this is LR Gohan's SSR art, it does look like, by the way. I saw people said, oh, this could be it. And other people were like, no, that's not the proper shading. But that's it. That's his SSR art. Um, also, I, I can go ahead and show... It's actually a little different uh, on GP. They show the actual Dokkan events rather than these... Because these are like the, the Dokkan event teasers, right? That Global has. Here, let me switch over to JP real quick, uh, and you guys can see that they actually show, like, the teasers for the events uh, instead of just the character itself right there. So here's the thing. A lot of people, including me, are disappointed about what Super Saiyan 2 Gohan looks like, right? I, I mean, the issue is the in incredible difficulty it takes to get his active skill transformation, which, again, it is insane. Like, it it it's five turns or later... Uh, you know, if Android 16 is on the team, you only got to fall below 59% HP, but five turns or later, Android category ally on your team or enemy, you got to fall below the HP threshold. It's just Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's not going to come out very often. Now, the homie Goresh was very, 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 like, like, he was really harping on the fact that he thinks Gohan is incredible and that people are really underselling him. Now, Goresh is almost always correct, so... Uh, I'm certainly going to withhold judgment on Gohan until we see what he looks like. Um, if you don't have Android 16 on his team, though, I, I mean, you might not see that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan transformation barely ever. But depending upon what team it is, there is a new Android 16 that is going to be coming. But I believe Team Dokkan are said that the Android 16 is int, so we're not going to be able to use him on Gohan's team. I don't know what they were thinking with that, to be honest. I mean, it, they're going to give us a team... Where, like, on Gohan's team, you can only basically get his active skill. You got to use Cell on your team. I mean, because he's the Kamehameha category leader. There, there's just, it, there's a lot. We'll, we'll see, like, once we actually get, like, Gohan in-game, we'll be able to see then, right? Um, but Cell, by the way, looks like he might be the second best unit in the game. Uh, so there's a little movie that starts as soon as the celebration starts, nothing biggie. Login, bonus, missions. Now, the missions are really important because in the missions is where we get the limited keys, right? Which we can use to um, access the hyperbolic time chamber event, which, you know, gives us a bunch of stuff. We're, we're going to look at it in a second. No worries there. Uh, nothing else different on JP side, so I'm not going to switch over. We have, of course, the Dokkan Festival. As I'm recording this right now, they're handing out tickets. Uh, I am expecting that I'll probably get the most tickets ever seen ever. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see what number that is. Uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe in like an hour or so. Uh, they're giving out the tickets every half hour, kind of in reverse order, the last uh, number of your ID. So we'll, we'll kind of see what happens here. Um, I don't recommend anyone summon on the stone version of this banner, by the way. Do not do that. Don't do that to yourself. It, it's, a, it's a rough banner. There There is so many featured units. Chances of getting stuff that aren't that good are very high. Uh, then we get we have this. This is the Global vs. JP campaign, the Hercules Worldwide Tile Breaking Contest, right? So by doing all the stages and the missions, you can get 35 stones, which is really nice. Uh, the winner gets Perfect Cell, the loser gets Hercule. Cell is definitely a lot better than Hercule because he just has better links and he's on better category teams. But 
I don't know, maybe the Hercule is actually more usable than Cell, because this Cell has the same name as the Dokkan Fest exclusive we're about to get. So obviously, you're not going to be using them. <laughs> um, if we head down here, so it looks as though there's five stages, right? And it seems like every day, uh, one of the stages has an extra, like, damage, like, period. So, like, I'm going to do a video on this uh, in a, probably a little while. Uh, today is the uh, Dragon Ball Seekers team. So, probably the AGL GT Trunks, I would think, is maybe your best bet. Again, we'll, we'll do some tests. People are telling me that you could do it infinite amount of times. So, we could just go in and keep hopping in. But uh, your best bet to clear the challenge, like, to get the maximum amount of stones is probably by using the category, because I, I think it gives you double damage for that stage, right? So that's how it's going to work. Some of these are going to be super easy, right? Like pure Saiyans. Like Goku Family, you could use LR Gohan for that. Same with Hybrid Saiyans. Like, those are going to be a joke. Uh, you know, we'll see Vegeta Family, pure Saiyans, stuff like that. Like, I, I'll look into it, but I don't think this is very difficult, and I think you only have to get up to, like, 35 million or something like that. It's not 99 million like uh, the Punching Bag event or anything like that. Um, so yeah, of course, Cell and Hercule, they basically do the same thing. Uh, one thing I do like is that neither of these are, like, exclusive characters. Like, the first year Global and JP did this, there was the Pink Shirt Vegeta and Bull Cut Yamcha. Those are, like, exclusive versions of those characters, so I hate that both versions didn't get it. Last year was good, though, with the Super Saiyan Goku and the, uh, Final Form Frieza, because there's a million, uh, versions of those two characters, right? And then same thing here. There's a lot of Hercules and a lot of Cells in the game, so it's not, like, exclusive characters. Uh, yeah, see, stats are the same except for links, type, and category. And, of course, that's where Cell has the advantage. Uh, looks like everyone will get this wallpaper reward, so that's cool. Uh, they, they do mention that, you know, both versions get the same wallpaper regardless of the result. So that's cool. So this is going to go on until it looks like about the start of September, right? Uh, next, we have the Breaking Challenge. Uh, you know, collect as many tiles as you can. I think this is this is pretty much exactly the same thing, right? This is just details for that event right here. Only two turns. Boss doesn't do anything. Largest value you could do is 99 million. Uh, I don't know if you could use items. I imagine you can. Uh, that That's one thing I'm not completely sure on. I, this is going to work just like the punching bag event. Again, I'll do a video uh, probably every day going over the category and like stage the team that'll that'll work best, right? So so today in a little bit we'll we'll do the seekers of the Dragon Ball team. All right, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, next we have this. Uh, <laughs> there's a new art by the way. Is that art different than? No, I think that's that's the same. Yeah, that's the same Super Saiyan Goku art. They just changed his outfit, right? Uh, the one at the top and then the one right there. Uh, I really, I, I would like them to release this Goku as a card right here with that, like, unique outfit he wears before the Cell games start. But this is crazy. I mean, basically, remember that launch treasure event we had last year? Well, here, just, like, completing stages is going to get you 10 stones per day. Like, just absolutely massive. Like, that's that's really, really nice. Um, then, of course, we get to this uh, dual Dokkan Festival. Both characters are LR. Presumably, there's going to be 10 featured units on the banner. No info yet on if the LR Super Saiyan 4s or LR Gohan and Goten will be on the banners. I doubt it because Global just, or excuse me, JP just had them. And then Global, I think, is going to get the Tanabata banner. Like, like the banner that JP just had that had them was the Tanabata banner. Global's going to get that Tanabata banner probably for their thank you celebration in November. So I don't think the Dokkan Fest LRs will be on this banner. If they are, though, I think that probably does make it a must summon. Like, if, if one of the Super Saiyan 4s or Gohan and Goten are somewhere on there, then that will make that whatever banner they're on, like, crazy high in value. Because, again, it's hard to place Gohan for me right now, but I do... Cell is either the second or third best unit in the game, I think. So, you know, <laughs> keep in mind that they're going to be very good. And I would say there's all possibility that Gohan is just as good as Cell. Well, I don't think Gohan's as good as Cell, but he could be... He, I don't know if Gohan's even going to be better than Gohan and Goten, honestly. So maybe Gohan is four. Like, Cell's second best unit in the game. Gohan is four. By the way, I saw people say that Gohan and Cell are better than Kale and Khalifa. You're high. No. <laughs> no. Listen, I've been begging for Gohan to be the best unit in the game. He's not. I, Cell, I would have been okay with. He's not. Unfortunately, we got to just come to reality. Kale and Khalifa are still the best unit in the game. That's just how it is. Um, all right, so Gohan and Cell, Dokkan events, of course. They are Dokkan Fest LRs. Uh, looks like it's going to be a new stage added to the Cell event, by the way. So this is going to be the first uh, Dokkan event that's going to get, like, a third actual Dokkan event level difficulty stage in it, right? So that's going to be interesting. 
Uh, I don't know why this picture of Super Saiyan 2 uh, LR Gohan is here, because he is not available with the, the purple stone or red stone. I mean, that... If Gohan, you could get him with the purple or red stone, that would be insane. I'm actually going to do a quick double check on my game real quick here. Let, let me switch over. Let, let's just do a quick double check that LR Gohan is not in here, because that... That would be interesting. Yeah, he's not there in the purple stone. And, of course, they're not going to give LR Gohan out for free on the red stone. So, I have no idea why on that image right there they have LR Gohan stacked in there. It's very odd, but whatever. Not a big deal. A uh, huge sale, which is good. Your boys already uh, mopped up most of these sales. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. I mean, honestly, this is about what a Legends sale would look like, except... You know, Legends gets the big fat W over Dokkan because Legends does it every freaking banner. Whereas Dokkan, we get this like twice a damn year, basically, or three times a year. Like, uh, Dokkan, please give me these every banner. <laughs> I'd really appreciate that. Uh, you can get two purple stones from the 100 stone pack as well, which you could use to select, you know, uh, basically a bunch of characters that are eventually going to ease the A. Uh, then we get, you know, the red stone and the purple stone are both available. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what to do with the redstone. Uh, Janemba is definitely the best unit on there. I, here, I guess uh, we just looked at it, but Janemba is definitely the best unit on there. I mean, SCR Gogeta is a safe pick. Um, then with the purple stone, I mean, just get whoever you want. But remember, you got to pay like 50 bucks to get the purple stone. And you are able to get two of them. Uh, I'm like, I don't know. I, I might just sit on my stones. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. So uh, this right here, this is, again, this is a little different from JP's version. Uh, this is added in here because obviously JP has already gotten this, but for global, it's it's right there, right? But, you know, go ahead and get your Vegeta and Trunks leveled up. Uh, the Cell Game Story event is here. Now, one thing, yeah, okay, take a look at this. So, here's the thing. Uh, for some reason, on global, there is no story scenario on global, right? I don't know why this is, but on, on JP, there is actually a story scenario right here. I'm actually just going to switch over. I took a screenshot of this Goku right here. This is from the story in the Cell Games event on JP. Again, for whatever reason, Global does not have the story in right now. I don't understand why JP does what Global doesn't. But there's new stages that are going to be added. Because basically, the event ends right now when Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2. So, I mean, it's not going to be added for a long time. So, part 2 of the celebration, it looks like. Um, I, I think there's a very high chance we're going to get an LR instant transmission Kamehameha Goku, by the way. Because, like... There's multiple new arts of him. Like, when they do that, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Like, literally, that happened with LR Full... Like, with LR Full Power Freeze, remember? All of a sudden, there's 500 new Full Power Freeze arts. It's like, okay, they're, they're about to drop LR Full Power Freeze. Like, it's obvious. And then they did. So, I, Instant Transmission Goku looks like it's probably going to be an LR, I think, uh, in Part 2. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see how good he's going to be. Uh, that would make sense, because another factor of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is he gets a major power boost if Super Saiyan Goku is on the team. Actually, I think it's on the rotation. But it's also not clear if it's Super Saiyan Goku or any version of Super Saiyan Goku. Like Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, 4 Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. It's not entirely clear um, if it means any form. Kind of like how Kid Chi-Chi, right? On Kid Chi-Chi's card, it's set up so that any Kid Goku on the team, including, you know, Kid Goku Grade 8, LR Kid Goku and Arale, uh, Kid Goku and Bulma, all of those will activate Chi-Chi's passive. So it's unclear right now if Gohan gets it specifically from a Super Saiyan 1 Goku, or if it could be any Goku that has a Super Saiyan, like, in his name, right? So we'll see, we'll see. Um, then we get to this, right? So here we have the uh, Chamber of Spirit and Time. Uh, this is cool. Uh, this is the, we're able to use the limited keys for the first time. You can only access from the, uh, like, you know, room of memories or chamber of memories, whatever. Use limited keys to take this on. So you can only do this event two times, it looks like. Uh, through missions, you can get up to 20 limited keys in total. And it takes 10 limited key to consume the event one time. So in order to do this event, you have to grind up 10 of the limited keys from missions. Um, it looks like it gives insane rewards, though. Um, we get... Five Elder Kais for beating it, so that's really good. And we get five of the Chamber of Spirit and Time uh, training item as well, which is the best training item in the game. It's basically like the really good Gravity Chamber, um, but like buffed on top of that. Like even the, the newest Gravity Chamber we just got is already like replaced by this one, but this one is insanely limited, right? We, we can only get 10 right now, it seems like. I'm sure they'll give us more in the future, but right now it's only 10 of these we can get. Uh, you get a, a large amount of experience upon clearing the stage, so if you don't have every character max level in your box, I guess bring characters to level them up. That's cool. 
Um, special missions are available in the events. Complete them to obtain tons of training items. Okay. Uh, and you get one stone for beating the event. Uh, looks like that's about it, though. Looks like it's up... It's only up until the second? Okay, so you gotta get the keys quickly, then. But that doesn't make sense, because it's talking about special missions for part one and part two. So, probably... 10 keys during part one to get you the, like, one run on it. And then during part two, we could probably get 10 more keys to get a second run on it. That's what I presume is there. Um, we have 10 new stages of Super Battle Road. Um, I've already beaten five of those at the time of doing this video. Uh, seems like nothing is really too crazy. The Universal Survival Arc stage was very difficult. But I was able to beat it in one try with the OP, you know, Khalifa and then Khalifa and Kale. Uh, so we'll see, um, you know, how, on global, how difficult is it going to be without them? I'm not sure. But, you know, if you get Jiren with a lot of stuns, you know, you, you could definitely get um, some big time W's there. Uh, unfortunately, with this Victory's Light item here, let me head back in game real quick. Uh, and let me show this. They actually did not add uh, anything special. It's just Grand Elder Kai's in here still. So I, I don't know. I might grab like a couple of the EGL ones or Int ones for LR Cell and Gohan, you know, getting them from SA 10 to uh, 20. But I mean, we'll see. It, it's. A bit disappointing, but again, I don't know. It is what it is. The, the LR that you can actually get from Super Battle Road, Goku and Bulma, is crazy good, right? Uh, then we have a new stage of Boss Rush. Uh, Global gets stage 8. Uh, Boss Rush gets, or JP gets stage 9. Uh, Global will get stage 9 during the Thank You Celebration, the before-mentioned one, which probably will have that step-up banner as well, and I think it'll have the Tanabata banner. Uh, Global Celebration, or like, Thank You Celebration will be very hype. I think that's probably also when Trunks and Zamasu will come out, and I gotta imagine that's when they would bring out the LR Trunks Legendary Campaign, which, I mean, JP had that nine months ago now at this point, so I, I don't know why they're waiting for that, uh, for Global. Um, then we get the tickets, you know, they're handing out tickets for every 50 stones used. Again, the ticket, uh, handout process is going on literally as I'm making this video. Uh, so, you know, like, if, if you were asleep while I'm making this video right here, 4.33 a.m. Eastern, like, when you wake up, you should have your tickets. Uh, we get a bunch of stones, uh, top grossing rewards, if it's first place in more than seven countries. It will hit that. Even if Gohan is a little bit disappointing, people are still gonna summon its Gohan. But, I mean, they definitely... Man, I'm telling y'all, there was a scenario where Gohan just transformed in, like, the third turn, and that's it, and he's the best unit in the game, and, like, th th there's never, ever been more hype ever for a unit ever than Gohan. Like, all they had to do, apparently, Team Dokoner said on his stream, too, that Gohan, they saw a previous version of Gohan who was, like, insanely stupidly OP, and he was actually nerfed uh, before the finalized version was completed. Uh, that does sound a little bit disappointing. It's just because... I don't know. They dropped LR Kill and Khalifa, dude. So, like, <laughs> don't start moving the other direction now because then it just highlights how much better Kale and Khalifa are than every other unit in the game, which is what happens. Like, they already made that first step with Kale and Khalifa. You can't then backtrack. <laughs> that, that's that's a, sort of a, a big thing I think about that. But, oh, well. I mean, we're going to get this for sure. It's going to be nice to get the free stones. Uh, Elder Kai banner, I definitely do not recommend anyone summon on that. No reason to. They give out so many Elder Kais these days. Uh, remember, it'll probably be different for JP. Let me actually double check. For some reason, Global and JP is always different. Yeah, I, I don't understand why they do this. Uh, I think Global's is a little bit better, but I think Global can do four summons, uh, with 25 stones to get five Elder Kais, and then JP gets two multis of 10 Elder Kais, but it's a little bit better for Global, because maybe, you know, you just want to get, like, five Elder Kais, you only bust 25 stones, whereas on, on JP, you gotta use 50 stones to get the 10, but I, I don't recommend people do those summons anymore. Uh, they used to be high value back in the day, but not now. It, it they give out so many. Uh, an Android edition of Dokkan Battlefield is coming. A new Krillin and Android 18 are coming. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. How many freaking units are we going to put in this mode? And, like, it doesn't even let us grind them. Y'all know how I, I'm addicted to Rainbow in these units. And, like, they, there's just too many in here to, like, Rainbow them all now. It's very annoying. Uh, but I'm sure that... I hope the Krillin and 18 are going to be very good, by the way. They're definitely needed for the Cell Saga team. Uh, Cell slash Android Saga team. While I'm talking about this, I guess I might as well show it. Um... I'm not... Uh-oh, there's items right there. <laughs> that could be my tickets. Here, I want to pull up the Cell uh, and Android Saga category real fast. Because I'm definitely not, like, super impressed. Cell uh, is the leader of this team. Here it is right here. Uh, when it first came out, Dokkan Fest Piccolo was not on it, but he's already been added to it. So very good job by Dokkan there. But here is what the category looks like, right? I mean, as you can see, there's 
There's not as many top tier units as you think on here. Now, obviously, we're about to get two big time LRs added to it in Gohan and Cell, who are both on the same team. This guy is also about to get an easy A. He's probably going to be absolute insanity. Uh, then we're going to get a new 16. I think we're getting a new Cell Jr. is already confirmed. So there's some more units coming. I really wish a lot of the Z fighters had a little bit more shine here. Like, no Krillin. Well, okay, Krillin is getting one. But, like, no Tien, no Yamcha. You know, honestly, we need a way better 17. Like, the 17s on here are not great. Um, at least this Android 18 is pretty good. Like, I do have her rainbow. But, I don't know. The Cell Saga team definitely needs some more work done to it. Uh, really, there's not even a really good Super Saiyan Goku now that I think about it. So, but he might be an LR coming. Again, I just talked about that. I mean, there is Yardrak Goku. He's okay. I mean, but I'm not going to give that Goku anything other than okay. Um, all right. So, this is big. Uh, finally, the type banners are coming back. But, again, we're going to get orbs, which is awesome. But it's probably going to be one summon. Uh, so, like, they just don't put these type banners out anymore, ever. They, they just they refuse to do it ever, ever, ever. They never give us type banners anymore. I hate it. I, I think it's so stupid. Uh, why... Why, why can't we get the type banners, man? I don't, like, because I, I want to get those, um, the type units, right? Like, the the 40% uh, Gohan, all those guys. Like, I don't have the 40% Gohan, and I don't have the 40% Metal Rildo. Uh, also, it looks a little bit different on GP, because they're actually giving us a teaser for all of them. Uh, that Goku with a ZZA is stupid. There's Roshi. Nail is right there. That's big. Uh, Kale, that's really good. Oh, Nail, dude. If you get Nail... Nail is so freaking good, so that would be really good. Um, all right, continuing on. Uh, looks like the Hidden Potential system is going to be up all stages during the weekend. Always love when they do that. Uh, and then this is just previous stuff that we've seen. Like, all EZAs are open. All Dokkan events are open. You know, the Android Saga Story event was added for Global and JP. And then four times rank EXP and then the 30% off Baba items. So, there we go. There is uh, everything that we got. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the insanity uh <laughs> this celebration seems very very good so uh thanks guys for watching we'll see again what our boys gohan and cell like like how good are they actually going to be right now i think cell is probably the second best unit in the game gohan i probably preliminary i'm going to slot him as like the fourth best unit in the game that's still good but it would have been really cool if they were like one and two <laughs> i'm just gonna throw that out there so thanks guys for watching and i'll catch y'all next time.